What's up, Dragon Slayers? Right now, my blood sugar is at 96. It's been about 15 ish hours after I finished this video. I'm going to go break my fast. So, today's video is all about forgetting your weight because your body composition is what matters most. For my long term viewers, uh, you've probably noticed that I haven't posted my weight in many weeks. And that's primarily because I haven't weighed myself at all in several weeks. I was getting into the shower earlier today and I looked at myself in the mirror. And for the first time in my entire life, I genuinely liked what I saw. People recently have complimented me on how I looked leaner and more fit and more muscular. But I haven't even consistently lifted weights this year so far. Just a handful of times here and there, and I'm currently going through physical therapy for an injury, and I plan to get back to the gym once that's been resolved. So as of about mid-December last year, after my second 14-day fast, I was 245 pounds. I've been walking at least 30 minutes to an hour every single day for the past eight plus weeks. Uh, last I weighed myself, I was probably, it was probably more than three weeks ago, and I was still 245 pounds. Um, I got on the scale this morning before my shower and I was only mildly surprised to realize that I was still 245 pounds. So in the past, I would have completely, it would have completely deflated me, frustrated me, and probably caused me to go binge eat some junk food because I'm like, what's the point, right? I understand people's frustration of doing everything they know to do or think is healthy, and despite their best efforts, they're unable to lose a single pound. I'm living that truth right now. Um, so it got me thinking. When I look at myself, I like how I look. I'm getting compliments from other people on how I look, so why should the scale matter? It really doesn't matter. Unless you're a professional fighter or some other professional sport that requires you to be a certain weight, or within a certain weight class, the number of the scale is very insignificant. Uh, this journey of slaying your diabetes dragon is not about weight loss. It's about health. I think you have to value, I think you have value and you should be respected at any weight and any size. And you should love yourself at any weight or any size. I've seen pictures and I've heard stories, but it's weird for me to be experiencing it for myself now. There's a difference between learned knowledge and applied knowledge. You can know that something is true and accept it as truth, but until you experience it for yourself, you can't truly fully understand the depths of it. I have come to the point where I accept the fact that I may never weigh less than 245 pounds ever again for the rest of my life. And that's okay because every day I'm getting healthier. Every day I'm getting stronger. Every day, I'm learning more about life, I'm teaching other people, I'm inching closer and closer to unlocking my full potential. And once I do, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to climb higher highs, I'm going to dig deeper depths, and when you learn to enjoy the process, the journey of health, you will literally redefine who you are daily. So despite what the scale says, I, I feel like I look better. I feel better, and I'm significantly more confident than I was 79 days ago. Commit to being your best. It's these small micro changes over long periods of time that compound into massive macro changes, and that's the key to unlocking your dreams. So in support of my message, in the description down below, I found this really cool article that shows people who weighed the same before and after or insignificant weight differences, like two, three, four, or five pounds, and they look radically different. Right? So go check it out. I think it's like 40 some photos. Some of them are really shocking and I'm living that truth. I'm experiencing it right now. And so like, I will at some point show you guys some before and after me, show you some pictures of what I look like you know, even three or four years ago, it's, it's radical how much has changed and my weight has stayed the same. So that's what I've got for you guys today. And remember that together you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.